Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw Groot from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. So first of all, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line for the side of his face on the left side right there and on the right side at this lower point i'm gonna make a semi circle turn inwards towards the chin with a diagonal line and on the right side as well and for the chin i'm gonna turn it downwards on both sides and semi circle turn at the corner a line across so we took a turn back up on the right side. Now for the branches on top of his head, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line off center right here, upwards, diagonal turn to the right, curve line across, and I'm gonna turn it back downwards. And at this corner, I'm gonna draw a line up, across, a line downwards, and continue the line of the branch to the base. Same as a turn at the base to the right right there and turn it back up. Diagonal turn to the left, across, back down diagonally and turn it back up to the tip of the branch above. Curve line across and a straight line all the way down to the base. And on the left side, I'm going to draw a similar branch shape. Same as a good turn to the side at the base. And a similar branch shape at the side here. And on the right side, a line upwards, curve line across, and back down to the side. At the side, I'm gonna draw some smaller branches with a diagonal line here, turn it upwards, across, and downwards with the same path. I'm gonna do a similar shape on the right side right here, and on the left side diagonal line there and turn it upwards now for his eye i'm gonna draw a curve line off center right here downwards diagonal line to the right back up at the outer corner and a line up across for the top point right there now for his eyes inside of that, I'm gonna draw a curve line across right there and I'm gonna copy the same shape at this lower point. Inside of that, I'm gonna draw a small circular shape right there. Surrounding the eye right there, I'm gonna trace the same outline at this outer point and the lower part of the eye as well. Below the eye, I'm gonna draw his cheekbone with a curve line downwards and a diagonal line to the side of his chin. I'm gonna copy the whole eye shape and the cheekbone on the left side right here as well. Now at the inner corner of his eye, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards and I'm going to do the same thing on the right side here as well. Now for the mouth, I'm going to draw from the corner on the left, a curve line upwards, across and back down on the right side. A 
above his mouth I'm gonna draw some random line for the patterns of the wood and below the eyes right here as well and I'm gonna add below the mouth as well and on the chin right there and at the side of the face on his forehead and above his eye and we're gonna add some lines as well at the branch now below the head I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards from the right side right there I'm gonna draw a similar curve line at this inner corner and at the side of that I'm gonna draw a curve line right here outwards and another one beside that and for the line of the neck I'm gonna draw a curve line from the side of the cheek here downwards at the side of that a curve line out towards the shoulder and from the middle point I'm gonna draw a diagonal line upwards right here turn it outwards with a line semicircle turn upwards and diagonal line outwards to the side I'm gonna draw the branches coming out from the side of his shoulder diagonal line downwards turn it outwards curve line down and back inwards I'm gonna copy the same shape at the lower point right here and turn it back in all the way to the middle point above his chest right there I'm gonna draw a few more branches at the side diagonal line turn it up and turn it outwards turn it downwards and back inwards and downwards a few more branches at this lower point and some more at this corner right there now at the middle point here I'm gonna continue this line downwards turn it diagonally to the right and back to the left and to the right with a curve line semicircle turn at this lower point and turn it back upwards with the same path all the way to that point now I'm gonna copy the same shape of the branch to the left side right here And I'm gonna copy the same shape of the neck as well now for his shoulder on the right I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards from this corner turn it inwards and downwards and semicircle turn back slightly to the right and below that I'm gonna draw a similar curve line up semicircle turn at that outer corner and from this point, I'm going to draw a curve line upwards all the way back to the side of the branch right there and a curve line downwards for the inner line of the arm now for the outer line of the arm, I'm going to take this point and draw a curve line downwards to the elbow another curve line all the way to the wrist downwards at that corner and for the inner arm, a curve line here and another curve line all the way to the wrist curve line across at the wrist and below that I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards at this inner corner another curve line all the way to the tip sharp turn back up sharp turn back down to the other finger diagonal line to the left sharp turn back up at the tip of the finger and on his knuckle I'm gonna draw a triangular shape at that corner 
and for the outer line of the hand I'm gonna do a curved line from the outer point of the wrist a few triangular shape on the knuckle right there curved line downwards to the side of that finger and at the side of the finger right here I'm gonna draw some triangular shape for the other fingertips like that and along the arms I'm gonna draw some curved line right there and on his lower arm right here I'm gonna draw a curved line from the outer point inwards and downwards copy the same shape again at this corner and a few curved lines along this section above the wrist right here and along the wrist I'm gonna draw a few curved lines across right there and on his arm some lines coming down towards the fingers like that Curve line across above the thumb, a few lines down at the side of the thumb right there. Now at the inner line of the elbow right here, I'm going to draw a curve line up, turn it upwards, and curve line back inwards. And for the right side of his body, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards. At this point, flare it out slightly outwards below the waist right there. And on the left side, I'm going to draw a curved line below the branch here, downwards. And turn it inwards to the middle point right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side right here. And going back to the left side, I'm going to draw a similar curved line downwards for the side of his body right there. A branch below that coming out with a curved line, line across at the tip and back inwards. Continue the line of the body downwards. Now for the hips, I'm going to draw a curved line down from this corner, diagonal line to the middle point, same as a turn downwards, turn it to the right and turn it back to the left and downwards. And going back to the tip above, I'm going to draw a curved line downwards, diagonal line down, a line right there and across, and another line diagonally on the side, and turn it sideways and up. A line across at the tip, and copy the same shape going back down on the right side. Curve line down at the side diagonally to the center point below and I'm gonna draw a few branches at the side right here with a curve line out a line across at the tip and back in copy the same shape again at this lower point right here and back in at this lower point I'm gonna draw a similar shape on the left side here as well And at this middle point, I'm gonna draw a curved line across. Now for his six pack, I'm gonna take this point in the middle and draw a curved line downwards. Curved line to the side and diagonally up. Diagonal curved line outwards at the side and curved line downwards. Below that, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curved line right there and a similar one at the side right there diagonal line downwards at the lower point and I'm gonna copy the same shape again at this side here and above 
those shape I'm gonna draw some semicircle line right there and at the upper point I'm gonna extend the line upwards and at this corner I'm gonna draw a few curve line to the side right there and going back to the middle point I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards on the right side same as a turn to the right and across I'm gonna copy the same shape at this lower point right here and for the left side I'm gonna copy the whole thing as well Now for his legs, I'm going to continue the line at this outer corner right here, turn it downwards to the knee point and for the inner line, a curve line downwards below the hips in the center, curve line at the side of the knee right there and continue the curve line of the legs downwards on both the outer corner and the inner corner now for the patterns on his thigh I'm gonna draw from the side of the branch here a curve line downwards flare it out and continue the line downwards turn it out at the knee point and curve it back in towards the knee point right there for the outer line of that section, I'm gonna draw a curve line to this outer corner right there, all the way towards the knee, and a curve line inwards below the knee. Turn it to the left side with a curve line and semicircle turn back downwards. And at the side of the knee here, I'm gonna draw a circular shape right there. And below that, I'm gonna trace the same curve line at this inner corner and I'm going to extend this line with a curve line downwards to that corner at the side of that I'm going to draw a tube shape with a curve line downwards and we're going to copy the same exact line at the side on the left here and behind the tube I'm going to draw a curve line across right there and another one at this lower point now I'm gonna draw a few curve line at this corner downwards sharp turn back up on the left side right there copy the same shape at the side here and I'm gonna draw a few more similar shape around the leg here extend this curve line inwards and a curve line at the side right there now for his toes, I'm going to draw from the sharp point at this lower end and draw a curve line downwards, flare it out to the tip of the toe, sharp turn back to the side and we're going to copy the same shape for the other toes like that. And at the side of the main toes, in the middle, I'm gonna draw some more at the sides here. And on the right side as well. Now I'm gonna go back to his thigh and draw a curve line at the side here, diagonally up, and another one at this lower point. Above that, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards and to the side below the hips right there. And I'm gonna draw some similar curve line coming down in this section right here. I'm gonna trace the same line.
and at the side of the thigh here I'm gonna add a few lines coming down now I'm gonna copy the whole leg shape and the arms on the left side as well And I'm gonna add a few small branches along his arm at the side right here and at this lower point at the side on the left arm as well at the side of his elbow right there and at the side of the wrist at the side of his thigh and a few more at the side here and on the right side of his waist and I'm gonna add some curve line in every sections of the of his body to give the wood look That's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.